Good Wednesday morning, young people. I'm not in town. I'm currently in the state of Missouri, but we're still uh, having our Bible engagement, young people Bible study, and this is my take on it this morning. The Bible makes it clear that God is more than capable of healing people, and this should bring us great joy and hope. Tonight, we're gonna to look at one of the many times in the Bible that God healed someone, and we're gonna learn from that. Uh, as we look at this account, we'll work through some difficult questions and hopefully get a healthy perspective on healing. At some point, each of us will all need to experience God's power for a healing miracle. We're gonna be looking at the life of Elisha again. This time, we're gonna look at his part in the miraculous healing of a man named Naaman. Naaman, he was a soldier, commander of the army of the king of Syria, and a deadly enemy of the people of God. He was also a man who stood in high favor with his master, the king of Syria. In other words, Naaman had it made, except for one thing, he had leprosy. Naaman's healing is a great story. It's a wonderful example of God's power and mercy. But it would never have happened without the courage of an unknown slave girl who spoke a word of testimony to God. I'd like to camp out there for a while, but in the interest of time, let's just move on. Naaman goes off, he eventually gets in touch with the prophet Elisha, uh, and uh, Elisha says, go wash yourself and be clean. This, this message offended Naaman. Despite his awful disease, Naaman, he had ego, big ego. And it was bruised. I mean, he expected Elisha to do more than just tell him to go take a bath. Elijah didn't even come meet him in person. <sighs> Naaman was angry. He, he considered Elijah's command demeaning. If all he needed was a bath, he could have got that at home. Uh, he was kind of right. The Jordan River is kind of muddy and icky. The rivers in Damascus are clean and beautiful. But just like today, the message of the gospel, sometimes it seems absurd to people. Believe on the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved. That, that comes from another world to those who belong to this world. <laughs> and they'll never understand or accept it unless God opens their minds and hearts to receive it. Hey, if you struggle with the believing on the Lord, come tonight, share your struggle. Our group is a safe place.